Hello everyone, so today we are going to be working on the advanced mobile controls and we're going to be doing some interactions. So let's go ahead and get started by opening up the project and I'm just going to test it out here. Uh, it looks like there was an issue with the run arrow, so let's go ahead and get that corrected. Alright, and then on the toggle component uh, we want to add an on value changed event. So with the game object set active bool, let's leave that as unchecked and go ahead and test it out. All right, and so now we want to uh, move this run button over to the other side of the uh, screen, put it closer to the uh, joystick. And uh, I probably should have renamed it walk button, uh, but that's okay, you can do that if you like. And so with our toggle here, uh, I just want to adjust the size a little bit and um, using the rec transform, I'm using control plus alt to center the pivots and the image. And here's some of the images that I'm going to be using for my user interface. Um, so I've dropped those into my UI folder here. I'm going to change this to sprite 2D and UI. And, uh, <clears throat> here on my check mark um, I'm going to add the walk or the run button and um, I want to change the background so it's a little darker so you can see that image a little bit better and we're gonna make the check mark uh, icons a little bit bigger I do want to duplicate it uh, so on the secondary one it's just kind of a, a placeholder um, but it's a little grayed out but you can see it better. Uh, it gives the user you know, an idea of what the button is for. And then with the run button, uh, I'm gonna change that icon to the walk icon. <clears throat> All right, and uh, okay, so everything looks good there. And uh, I'll get these pivots moved over. All right, looking good. Okay, so now we are adding a toggle script so go ahead and create a C sharp script and it's gonna be our toggle handler and alright so go ahead and start by um, selecting at the end of unity engine control C and then you can just do control V and it'll paste a new line right below it I'm gonna add the UI and uh, down below the class we're gonna add the string name and a toggle uh, reference and then in the start, we're going to get the component the script is going to be attached to. And um, we want to create our own public void, uh, a public set change state. And uh, in this state, uh, we need to actually call a reference to the Unity Standard Assets uh, namespace for the cross-platform input. So down in our if statement, this will allow us to uh, check the set button down state or the set button up state uh, depending on what the toggle state is and so uh, let's go ahead and duplicate our run toggle and um, this can be our uh, crouch and um, so go ahead and name the toggle handler name field crouch after you've attached it and then on the on value change we want to just add that uh, toggle to the on value change, change the uh, toggle handler script on a set change state and that's when it'll go through the uh, you know if statements to let the uh, user or the, the player you know uh, do the interaction that the user is asking. And on the third person input script Let's go ahead and do a search for crouch and we'll change input to cross-platform input manager. We'll save that, head back to the editor and test it out. Next we want to create our jump and climb buttons. So we'll go ahead and duplicate our run button twice here. 
And so from here on out, it's just going to be kind of adjusting the UI and uh, making some changes to the third person input script. So I guess to kind of go a little bit further on the third person input script, so any UI that I am adding for like the interactions for jump or climb, um, I'm going to go into the third person input script and for the input, I'm going to change that to cross platform input manager. So it'll give the buttons that I'm working with the ability to work in that context. So um, yeah, essentially I'm just going to let the video play and uh, if you need to, you can slow the video down or speed it up from the gear icon uh, down below. Um, but yeah, I just want to say thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a fantastic rest of your day. Uh, if you do have any comments or questions, uh, you know what to do. And uh, all right, thanks again. Bye.